Hey everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. So today my dad is going to be cleaning the fish tank so we are going to be making a video on that and before we start you'll need some things. First of all you'll need a bucket. Second you will need the vacuum cleaner I showed you um, yes, uh, in my first video and you'll need some tissues and a polythene. So the tissues will be to keep the wet stuff on and the polythene would be to keep all the accessories on i hope you enjoy it where is gotenda oh i'm at the back of the camera and dad is rescuing the tank for the week okay hello everyone so let's get started as gotenda has already told you first thing first safety right yeah. so what we need to do for that we have to turn off all the electricity like the lights and the filter and the way we make up, we have to turn all those things off. Mm -hmm. so, and we have to open the cupboard because that's how we, we the vacuum will reach it in there. So the cover is like that and there are three lights in the middle. There's a flapper which you can put food through. And now Dad Tendo has removed the flap. I mean the cover. Now he has taken the buck the white bucket and now the polythene. So what we are going to do now is we need to remove all the ornaments, accessories out from the fish tank and yep. we will drain the water out. Yes. When we do the water change we also need to wash all these plants so it's nice and clean removing all the algae so we will be showing you that as well how we are removing and washing yes. these yes. plants mm. and do you know why when fish takes bath uh, they always take the bath because they're in water <laughs> No, once a week, let me change the water. But they're always uh, in the water, so technically they are always taking a bath. Uh, that is true, that is true. Uh. Thing is empty. What is thing? This fish Aquarium. tank is empty. You set up your vacuum cleaner. Is this a vacuum cleaner, cleaner or a pump? Uh, it's actually both. Yeah. Because it vacuums and. So it's pull the water out. So if you can see. The stones just stay at the bottom because they're heavy and it, and it picks all the dirt that is in the middle of the stone. So all the dirt goes up. We do a eighty percent water change every week. Um, because oh, the plant was left because 20% uh, is because the fish have to be left in the water because we don't have any other place for them to go, so that's why we do 80% and 20% is still there. And the other re reason is to change only 70% or 80% so that the bacteria which has already been there in the fish tank they stay there because it's a good bacteria yeah which always helps them to keep the surroundings good for oh, the fish oh. yeah can you see the water getting dirty now with all the uh, um yeah because the dirt goes up because the all the movement and the vacuum cleaner is picking up the dirt also when it moves it it, it throws some of the dirt up which is creating this uh, um like white water or grayish water
How big is your fish tank? A twelve gallon. Twelve gallon. Do you know the dimensions? Uh, what is the length, height, and breadth? I think the length. Wait, is length that way? Yeah. So no length... one can see you that way. What you showed me behind the camera. <laughs> So the length I think is one. So he's one talking about this length from here till here. So I think the length is one meter. I don't think so. So this is the length, this is the height, and, and this is the breadth. That's width, not breadth. Oh, width or breadth. So length, height, and width or length, height or breadth. So in the trigonometry when you grow up you will also learn that sometimes you call it this as breadth instead of width i know i've already learned that that is good because when you find the area of a square you have to uh, oh, yeah. breadth into breadth width into breadth no <laughs> breadth 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 mm. No, length in the breath. Yeah, because that would be same. Breath. Width in the breath would be same. Yeah. Can you sh see the dirt here? Yeah. This net uh, is completely filled with the dirt now. Not completely, like it's still left. Yeah. So that is almost there. <laughs> so this this part is still empty, and this part. Uh, so do we need to clean it now? Yeah. So just. Two more minutes and then we are done with this and then we'll pump out the water. Go, 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 Timmy. So like, the question, question to the audience. Which one is Timmy and which one is Tommy? Yeah, that is the question, of, question for today. All right. So one bit is done. So what I'll be doing now is, I'll be removing this red net, I'll be going and doing the wash. Wait, um, where would you put that thing? Which thing? Uh, the pipe. N not yet, I need to take that for the washing and then I'll come and change that. The next steps. You have to put... So we it? have just now put another nozzle to it, so what it will do... When we put this, it will help us to drain the water. So to drain the water, um, we will be you using need to this put bucket. Alright, so if I put this over here, I'll start the pump again. So as you guys can see, the water is coming out from it. Yes, let me just zoom the camera. You can um, see the, uh, the water is coming out of the pipe. Is this water drinkable? Uh, no, it's wasty water. It's dirty water. Yeah, it is a dirty water. But um, does fish drink water? Uh, they drink water and then throw it out of the gills. Mm. Like when they take oxygen, they they take the water in, mm -hmm. they take out the oxygen particles, mm -hmm. take in the oxygen and throw the water out of the gills. I think we'll change it over till here, almost around 80%. What do you think? It's dirty this week. Which? How much? That, around that much. Fish wants to stay on the 
land or without water, how long they can stay? There's a stone fish which which is in the sea that can live 24 hours, but goldfish can only live like f- f- um 30 seconds. Oh, is it? Yeah. The glass and the pump and filter, they also get dirty. Basically, there is some algae on yep. the bath maker and the pump, so we need to clean everything. Even and the glass. Al- yep, and algae actually kills your fish. Um, so, you have to clean your glass every two days. That's why I told you in my last video. changing a lot of water this time because the water was quite dirty usually we stop around 2.5 to 3 buckets not more than that yes the third one is done and just a quarter more just a quarter more and we need that quarter there was a reason so we'll tell you what that reason uh, is the water is going back into the curry yeah I know I'm drilling that pipe. <laughs> the last water what we are draining, uh, it would be uh. a little, it's a quarter bucket and that is required only to wash all the accessories because it's always good to wash with the same water where the fish lives because uh, the the plants uh, i mean the uh, the ornaments have bacteria on them as well so the bacteria water will wash them so they will still have the bacteria and the bacteria won't go anywhere that's all the water what we have trained uh, so that subscribe sounds like uh, um, a blocked um, toilet seat. Is it? Or the yes. flush? Yes. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing what we are doing is... We is are removing the wave maker. So let's wash the wave maker with the same water. Yes. Make sure uh, the wire behind that and the clamp, because that's... Uh, the most source of algae and the dirt get stayed over there so make sure you keep that stuff clean yes the front is not that much bad the back is where the most of the dirt is and the wire it mm-hmm. gets slippery and you can feel it yeah there is a dirt yes. okay so that's done so let's just put, put it, it back. back um i think you should put it a bit up down uh up is it fine here? Uh, I think so. I would recommend is when you are doing this, make sure you clean your glass with this as well. Because if there is any algae, uh, which is usually the algae comes from the glass, so it helps you to clean it from this and then you can just wash it and put it back I'll show you another thing as well which helps us on a daily basis but this helps us to so what do you think how much time it takes to clean the tank uh, the video is already 30 minutes so it takes more than 30 minutes it takes around 45 to 1 hour when you clean it. So, yeah, so the main thing is done now. Let me show you one more thing what I was talking about to clean the glass on a daily basis. So, this is a magnetic cleaner and it cleans the glass 
So you you so you have to do it with your hand and um just um like cleans the glass. Yeah. So it is similar to the whiteboard duster, but it's on the both sides and it has a magnet to it so it just stays and you just need to move your hand up. Thing, uh, the, fi uh, the thing in the front of the filter has landed. Let me see. Which one? This? Uh, no, that one. This? The vacuum cleaner. Yeah? The white thing under it. Why? This? Yeah. <laughs> now it's better. Yeah, because I just kept it like this. No, it's because of the uh, water. Yeah, reflection, right? Yeah. Is it reflection or refraction? I think that's a refraction. Translation? No, it's not a translation. There are two different words. Reflection and refraction. Okay. Okay, so you need to read about this. Now what we need to do, we need to quickly wash the plants and then yes. put them back. Yeah, that's why I said fishes, fish, not fishes, <laughs> fish are taking bath today. So we are making them quite nice and clean. But, they, but we are making the almonds clean, not them clean. Yeah, they're surrounding. So you, when you take a bath, you change your clothes, right? But you also bath yourself. Yeah, you make your surroundings. So, so fish are taking bath inside already. We are making sure their surroundings is quite clean, right? Yes. That's the most important task. You don't keep fish, you keep aquarium. So people usually forget, right? They have a fish and they just try to play with the fish. But the most important thing is the surroundings. You need to keep them clean. Plus the fish. You how you also have to keep the fish as well. Yeah. yeah Both. Right. So I'm moving all the stones at the back because that gives a very nice elevated view. I will show you once we fill up with it um, with all the water again. Yes. So it's all up to you and you we usually just change the location or every time when we change uh, the water. Mm. It's just give them uh, different surroundings. It's mm. not a huge difference but like yeah. it's just about the stones and the the placement of the ornaments uh, and yeah what's the total time now uh 39 minutes We have to just fill the aquarium now. So one of the most important thing when you change the water, make sure you have a similar temperature. Yes. Which was before. But Two. How many we drained out? Uh, three point two five. Right? Yes. So we just need to fill as much as we drain out. So this is the last. Last one. Right. Uh, it's, uh, it's been forty-five minutes. Now what we are going to do, the first thing what we need to make sure is the filter is on because that's the most important bit. That I'm just coming in uh, five minutes. All right, so you can see the filter is on. The next thing what we are going to do is we are putting back the lid and 
make sure that it is nice and clean from inside because there is a water which just stands on them and if there are some stains in inside this lid so so the last thing what we are doing now is we are putting back the lid which is quite important to make them feel their home they have a roof <laughs> so let's switch on the lights and you guys can see the water is still not a bit dirty. foggy it, it's 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 a bit foggy now it's yes. not dirty it's yes foggy. not dirty but it's foggy and what it will take it will take uh, almost, rain maker. almost around one hour with the rain maker yeah so we will switch it on we will show you and we will show you another video once the water is clean and we will take that view as well so Gutendo, do you want to come and take the floor? Guys, um, so that was it for today's video. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell for all the notifications when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye!